was down in it. Then you had the Moabites and the Ammonites. Judah dwelt in the south. That's why we were called the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. When we split, Judah was down in. Right in this area here in ancient times. And Judah dwelt in the cities. And Benjamin was up here. Simeon was down here also. But Judah was up here, down here in the south. So this is where Judah, coming up out of, out of uh, Egypt with Moses, that Joshua took over. And Judah went in there, kicked butt. But, that thing. That's what we were meant. Now, what are we today? Both sides have to be doors. Got to replenish us. Got to save us. You got to rescue us. Because we don't went down, man. So let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 33. So that was Judah tribe right there. So it says, a step the church should not depart from Judah to Shiloh come. So when Christ comes, he's from the tribe and lineage of Judah. He's going to raise up the tribe of Judah with the knowledge of the Most High. And we're going to be working through his spirit. And all the tribes of Israel don't fall in line. That's what we're telling y'all. If y'all looking into denominational churches or these so-called splinter group Israelites, if they're not teaching this, they're just assemblers and you ought to go avoid them. But Yahweh going to deal with them, man. So let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 7 to show you the tribe of Judah. This is the, the, the blessing of Judah. So, when the time comes, you'll know. It says this in the seventh verse. It says, this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, hear, O Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Right now, the so-called Negro don't know who his people is. Why? Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's the tribe of Judah. They were the leaders. So when the head falls, who does it want to the bottom? When the most high raises up Judah again, they like you. Then the other tribes are going to come back under this order of the most high and the law of Christ, not a shot. Then we're going to be put back into this order. So it says, let his hands be sufficient for him. And be God help unto him from his enemies. So in the last day, we got a lot of enemies. The tribe of Judah, Esau, your enemy. The Moabites, your enemy. The Ammonites, your enemy. Psalms 83 is in effect. So we ask the most high, the elect of Israel, look out for us because we are waking up to the understanding that we are the tribe of Judah. And the tribe of Judah is in trouble. And we're living in a time of Jacob's trouble according to this fight. And through all the captivities we've been in, this is the worst one. You know why? When we were in, we in Egypt, we knew who we were. When we were in uh, the other captivities, the minor captivities, under all the other nations, like the Moabites, Ammonites, the uh, Arabians, or whatever, we knew who we were. Up to the time, of the Greeks and Romans, we knew who we were. And the Persian, we knew who we were. Now, when we're in America, we don't know who we are. And this is the dangerous part about it. Our people don't know who they are. Man. And this is the sad part about it. And it says here, um, that, and God will help them from his enemies. So the tribe of Judah, scripture say, and Judah is the most high bone. Let's read that out the Bible. We'll show you this. Because the most high is going to raise up um, Judah again. And we're going to be known throughout the earth. And the most high's name is going to be known amongst the tribes. Because you got a controversy with brothers with the Lashua. The they don't know who the most high's name is. They don't want to know. They're out here running around. They may be disassemblers, they may be sincere at certain points, but they have to learn. You must learn this 
scriptures. The water can be there too. You must get a good foundation. Some of y'all didn't cook it. You get a good foundation. All right? And you're going to learn this because the most high will turn us back into a pure language anyway. But you're rehearsing your righteous acts right now. Psalm 76, verse 1. And Judah is the hour known. So as we're coming back to the most high, tribe of Judah, we're going to know Yahweh's name. I am that I am. La ya la ya. I la ya am. That's the book of the Exodus. You can read that in Exodus chapter uh, 3, verse 14. And the Most High is going to reveal himself to us. So in Judah is the Most High known. His name is great in Israel. So like it says in Proverbs chapter 30, what's his name? What's his son's name? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know the last one? The last one I'll teach you what to do if you want to receive it. So his name will be known in Israel again. And Judah shall the most highest neck uh power be known. So the tribe of Judah are the so-called Negroes, and they went through slavery along with Benjamin, the skip the tribe of Benjamin. Genesis 49, 27. These are our brothers. We ain't forgot about you, Benjamin. Mm -hmm. We want to show you what happened to the tribe of Benjamin, just like Judah. They went into captivity. Genesis 49, 27. These are our brothers. Mm -hmm. We ain't forgot about you, Benjamin. And we want to show you what happened to the tribe of Benjamin, just like Judah. Mm -hmm. They went into captivity because they broke the laws. And Benjamin is going to be brought back. And it's going to be a remnant of these tribes coming back. 144,000, 12,000 from each mm -hmm. tribe. The tribe of Benjamin, Ben uh, sons of the right hand, they call West Indians. There's no people called West Indians or Jamaicans. Those are names given to our people from different captivities, and they were called Ben Yang Yang, the sons of the right hand. Genesis 49 verse 27 tells you of the tribe of Benjamin and it says this about Benjamin. Let's go to 27 verse. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Mm -hmm. Benjamin mm -hmm. shall raven as a wolf. What is raven? Reggae. The reggae, man. Reggae. They used to play the reggae in all these different groups and they be raven like wolves. Meaning, they got that revolutionary type spirit. And back in the 70s, when the brothers first started coming in, I started getting to know some of my brothers from the tribe of mm -hmm. Benjamin. They used to be scary, man. You used to see those brothers, the big roster hats, that is going into, uh, they're going off with that Haley Selassie stuff, that uh, African stuff, and the Ethiopian, that's off. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got classes on that. Right. But the brothers, when they first started coming into the States, they were like revolutionaries, man. And they were raving as wolves. They had Bob Marley and so forth back in my time when I was a teenager. And then we had a whole bunch of other groups from over here. So Benjamin came on the slave ships with Judah. And these are pictures of Benjamites. They look just like us because mm -hmm. these are our family, man. Mm -hmm. The tribe of Benjamin. Levi, Simeon, all these tribes of Negroid are so-called Indian, so-called features. And Benjamin is our brother. From the island of Jamaica. Jamaica. This is where they dropped off those brothers in the Negro slave trade. And they came over here off the slave ships just like we did. And they had them down there picking cotton down in the Caribbean islands right here. show you. This is where the slaves trade went. Came from the west coast of Africa and Benjamin was there also. So as it says, uh, Benjamin mm -hmm. shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey and at night he shall devour the spoil. So back then on the islands they got things that they do down there now. Mm -hmm. And the brothers are revolutionists. So this is the spirit. 
They had the Maroons uprising back then during the time of slavery. And they were down there oppressing the Benjamites just like us. We went to slavery in Jamestown, Virginia, mm -hmm. down there in Jamaica. We got ports where they brought the slaves in just like in Jamestown, Virginia. And this is why our people in it, the so-called Americas, they were sold, they were sold. They picked, picked cotton and peas here. Benjamin was down there in the plantations in the Caribbean. And our people were raped. The women were taken from us. The families were split up. We were given European names. And the same thing happened to them. The tribe of Benjamin was our brothers. All right? And these brothers and sisters went through the same curse that we went through because we the same people. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 12, tell you about the blessings that Moses put on the tribe of David. Let's go there real quick. 33 and verse 12, it says, And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all day long, and he shall cover him all day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders, because down in the islands, Benjamin lives amongst Levi, Manasseh, and Ephraim. And that island of Jamaica was inhabited by the Arawak Indians, probably some of the tribe of Simeon, some Ephraim, and they wiped them out or enslaved them, and then they brought in Benjamin from the west coast of Africa, along with Judah. So we have the same plight as a nation, and the same fight. The Most High divided us in his anger. Let's show you that. This is why the tribes can't get together, because the Most High put them curses on us. And he said, you ain't gonna be able to come together, because I'm gonna put y'all in derision. Let's show you that in the book of uh, Lamentations. And it's sad, but that's where we are right now. And men in the tribes of Israel <laughs> got these different factions amongst them because of this curse. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 16. The anger of the Lord has abided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the person of the priest, and they favored not the elders. So our nation, Lord of Benjamin, went into these vibrations. And by the Lord into these rebellious vibrations and into this Rastafarian stuff, smoking marijuana, and going into this so-called African movement, which is off, a lot of the Benjamites, they got caught up down in the islands with that stuff. But the most high gonna raise up mm -hmm. some of the Benjamites and some of the schools of the elect of Israel got Benjamites in them. Mm -hmm. And there's some upright brothers, man. I worked with some of them uh, back in the days. And when they get right and get their head into the scriptures, okay. some bad brothers, man. Okay. Some good allies to the nation and to the cause. And the most high gonna raise up Ben Yum Yum on this side of the earth. And like I was saying earlier, one of the uh, predominant ben Benjamites of the scriptures so. was King Saul. And uh, King Saul, we're going to go into that for a minute. Uh, he was the first king of Israel. You go into the first Samuel chapter 9. <laughs> first Samuel chapter 9. This was one of the uh, famous Benjamites in the Bible. A lot of people don't understand that this is our history. Now, what happened was, he was the first king, but they didn't do that. Him and his sons. So the most high replaced them with David from the tribe of Judah. And that's what he wanted to do. And then when that happened, Judah took the leadership, and then Benjamin followed. Don't turn from uh, the scriptures, was King Saul. And uh, King Saul, we're going to go into that for a minute. Uh, 
He was the first king of Israel. You go into the first Samuel chapter nine. <laughs> first Samuel chapter nine. This was one of the uh, famous Benjamites in the Bible. A lot of people don't understand that this is our history. Now, what happened was he was the first king, but he didn't know that. Him and his sons. So the most high replaced them with David from the tribe of Judah. And that's what he wanted to do. And then when that happened, Judah took the leadership and then Benjamin followed. Now it says this in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish of the sons of Abel, the son of Zeba, the sons of Bechorah, the sons of Aphim, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was among the children of Israel uh, a goodly of person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. Now, this fellow here, as you read the story, mm -hmm. became the king of Israel. He messed up. Most how he placed him with David. Mm -hmm. And back in the days, there was a war with Benjamin. And we had a war with our brothers, man. These brothers went off so much. I'm going to read it to you. That the most High was about to eradicate that tribe. Mm -hmm. And let's read a little bit about it. Let's go to... Uh, Judges chapter 20, verse 13. All right. Judges chapter 20, verse 13. This war happened, and when it happened, the most high recorded it. Judges chapter 20 and verse 13. Listen to this. It says. Start at verse 12. And the tribe of Israel sent men to all the tribe of Benjamin, saying, What wickedness is this that is done among you? Now therefore deliver us from the men of the children of Baal, which are in Gilead, and we may put them to death and put away evil from Israel. But the children of Benjamin would not hearken unto the voice of their brethren and the children of Israel. But the children of Benjamin gathered to themselves together out of the cities of and to go out to battle against the children of Israel. See? So back then, there was some type of rebellion. And Benjamin was fighting against the other tribes. And they were like, look, man, you got to get rid of this wickedness amongst us. So in this story, Benjamin almost got destroyed. And they had to replenish him by taking Hamitic women to bring to the sons and replenish them. They had to send Judah in there and they had to straighten them out, man. And then Benjamin replenished. So that was one of the stories of Benjamin. But you had brothers like Mordecai, who was a Benjamite, and one of the prominent um, apostles was Benjamin. Paul. Paul. Let's go to Romans chapter 11. Romans Paul was 11. a Benjamite. <laughs> so when you read in the scriptures about these different brothers in there, Brothers. it's in the New Testament also. It says this. Romans, Revelation, uh, Romans. Romans chapter 11, verse, verse 1. one. This is what Paul wrote. He was a, he was a apostle, man. He was a bad brother. He's from the Paul. tribe of Benjamin, and he came out in groups. And then this one had after the death of the Maccabees. Right. And they split it off into different factions like you have today. And Benjamin was there, Levi was there, and Judah was there at that time. And Paul was called to follow Mahasha, and he was a Benjamite, a spirit. I say then, has Yahweh cast away his people? No. Mm -hmm. Yahweh forbid. For I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. See? See what the brother was saying? Mm -hmm. Why was he going back to his lineage? Because they knew they were Israel. And he said, look, man, I'm here for the cause of Yahweh Shema Hashem. I was chosen. 
I call it the tribe of Benjamin. They will be the so-called West Indians today. See? And Benjamin goes up back then and did great things. And these brothers are going to be part of the 144,000. And they're going to be raised up, some of them, in these last days. And Judah is going to be the head mm -hmm. of this nation once again. That's right. Now, how would that? And our brothers went through the same thing we went through. And they went through slavery because they part of this nation and they broke the laws like all Israel broke the laws. So Benjamin and Judah, let's read about them in the book of Revelations. Because there's going to be a remnant of them coming up out of here. And there's going to be leaders coming out of those tribes. So let's go to Revelations. Chapter 7, and it says this. After these days, I saw a boy angel standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that they should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from heaven, having a seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom he had given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So what's going on? The sealing of the tribes of Israel. Until that time come, the Most High is going to hold off the Third World's War, but it's going to eventually come. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have the brothers of tribes get sealed in their minds. Before the destruction. See? So let's go to uh, Benjamin and Judah. Verse 5. It says, Of the tribe of Judah was sold 12,000. Of the tribe of Ooh. Reuben was sold 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad was sold 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher, there was sold 12,000. Of the tribe of Nathalium, there was sold 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar, there was sold 12,000. The tribe of Simeon, there was uh, sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, there was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar, there was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon, there was sealed 12,000. Mm. Of the tribe of Joseph, there was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin, was sealed 12,000. Benjamin and Benjamin, Judah, Judah. have 12,000 leaders, 12, leaders from each one of these tribes. It's going to be sealed. In the 144,000. And this is what the Lord said in Genesis chapter 49 about Israel. The day of the Lord is coming, brothers and sisters. And I urge you, in the name of the Hashemah Shah, to seek the Lord according to Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. And seek the counsel of the Lord. Because this is what the Lord said about, uh, about Israel. We're going to go to Deuteronomy. Chapter 33. And we're going to start like verse 26. So, this series we did on the 12 tribes of Israel, we saved the best for last. That's the tribe of Yahweh and our brothers, the tribe of Benjamin. Mm -hmm. These two prominent tribes, Judah rolls above all the brethren in Israel. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be the leader. Under my charge, Jesus Christ, in this new kingdom. And it's going to be 144,000, 12,000 leaders from Judah, 12,000 from Benjamin, and the remnant of the people. It's going to be sealed. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 26 says this There is none like unto the hour of judgment, meaning that the Most High is to power. There is no other God or any other power in heaven except Yahweh and his son Mahasha and the Holy Angels. So Moses wrote this, and we are expounding this to you to tell you this also. And it says this uh, Who rideth upon the heavens for thy help, and his excellency in the sky. See, we worship the power of heaven. The Most High is not in any temple made with hands. We don't fellowship with any 
congregations of the disassemblers or the denominations. Why? Because that's blasphemy. And the Most High does not dwell in temples made with hands. He gave Israel the law, and the congregation of Israel is going to return. The congregations of the nations, they believe in the jingle bells and all the idols of the Gentiles that's out here. We don't deal with. So as it is written, uh, verse 27, the eternal Yahweh is thy refuge. Yahweh is your refuge. Mm -hmm. Don't turn from it. Mm -hmm. And underneath are his everlasting arms. He shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say, destroy them. Mm -hmm. When the time come, mm -hmm. the enemies mm -hmm. of Israel from Psalms 83, 83. they all going to be thrust before us in that great day of Yahweh Shemash of the gathering of the 12 tribes of Israel once again to set up this new Jerusalem in Israel by the power of Yahweh Shemash and it says this uh, Israel then shall dwell in safety alone you hear that? when we go to Jerusalem it's going to be Israel in there alone alone Dwelling in safety. Right. <laughs> the nations are going to be picking peas, cotton outside of our gates. <laughs> Read Isaiah chapter 60. <laughs> and it says it. <laughs> the father of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down dew. That's the new Jerusalem that's coming. It's going to be heavenly, brothers and sisters. The most I say, eyes and ears have not seen or heard. For the things the Lord God promised for you. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is endure and keep the law and the testimonies and the faith of Mahasha to the end. And don't turn from it. Happy our thought, all Yasha Allah. Who is like unto thee, O people saved of the Mazalah, the shield of thy help, and who is sworn of thy excellence? Thy enemies shall be found lies before thee. Mm. The white man and all the other nations have lied about the Bible. That's the right. white man ain't no Jew. That's right. These are the Israelites of Indian and Negro descent according to the most high's word. You are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. right. You're the product of son. You are the chosen. Stand up. Stand up in the lot of the righteousness of the Most High through my Hashem. See? And it says it. With the shield of thy help, with the sword of thy excellence, and thy enemy shall be finalized before thee, and thou shalt tread under upon their high places. So when the time come, what are we going to do? According to this Bible. These nations are going down. Mm -hmm. You're going to put them down in the name of Yahweh, uh, Shema Hashem, according to this prophecy and this Bible, and the end of the world, as you know it, is coming. So, we have a book for you, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It's free. You can contact me at the Bible Based Ministry. It's called the 12 Tribes of Israel. The information you have heard today and the other series we have done on the 12 Tribes of Israel to prove that we are the people of the Most High. According to the word of the Most High and the law and the testimony and the books and the prophets of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem You can get this book free by contacting me, House of Bosses, Young Israel, Bible Based Ministry, PO Box 1302. Manorville, New York, zip code is 11949. Office phone is 516 302 3145. Email address is sojournerisrael at gmail.com. And as it is written in the scriptures, brothers and sisters, Hosea chapter 10, verse 12 says, What? It's time for you to seek the Lord until he come. And my righteousness and fun. So that is the end of the series of the 12 tribes of Israel. If you want this book, this informative book, like me, 
Call me, and I'll send it to you for free. As we say in the Hebrew, Yashar Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, watch over you. Peace be on you. Come on.